Hello, Davina here, and welcome to another tutorial from Useful Graphic Design Tutorials. Today I'm going to show you how you can take a photograph like the one I've got here, which is a nice enough photograph, but it's dull and flat, but giving it a bit of oomph by tweaking the colours and it replacing the sky and you will get something like that. Very useful as I say if you've got a, a nice photograph but dull and flat. Okay so how did we do it? Well let's bring in the photograph. We go to file to open and here's my photograph here. Here we go. I'm going to get rid of that one. I don't need that. We're okay there. Um, this is a photograph of the vicarage at East Ruston, which is um, a garden, beautiful garden, open to the public. It's in North Norfolk. So if you get a chance to go, go and have a look at it. Okay, what's the first thing to do? Well, I copy this layer. Two reasons. So we click down here and create a duplicate layer and goes in there. Two reasons as I say. One, if you do make a mess, uh, we'll use the, the background copy layer, if you do make a mess we well, can delete it and start again. And also it was useful for switching the eyes off to show you the different stages and that's something you can do to look back on. So we're going to work on the background copy and first of all we're going to tweak the colours. So we go up to colours and down to levels and we have the just colour level palette and you will see the channel we have value which basically refers to the black and white and underneath there we have red and green and blue and what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to tweak the black and white to give it a little bit more contrast and the way you do that you can see here on the left hand side is the black and on the right hand side is the white and this is the sort of the gamma one in between and if you click and move you can see it makes it really dark or and you're adding more and more contrast and this will go to that side and go to that side. Well, to save a little bit of time I've already decided which ones I want so I'm going to put them in here and that's 11 for that point nine one just using the keyboard for that and I'm going to keep it at 255 and if you want to see the changes or what difference it makes, there's a preview box here and just untick it. So that's what you started with and that's what you've got now. So you've got a little bit more depth to it. But it's still a little bit dull, I think. And I'm going to use the red and blue channels to give the impression of sunshine. So if we click on there and hold red down, this end you have got red but this end although it looks like black it isn't I think it's cyan but if I go that no if I move that all the way there you get red I move that all the way up there you get basically a greeny blue and it's somewhere in the middle again I've decided what what colors I want and I'm going to put in one point which is the default and 235 nothing else there so what's happened now looking at the preview particularly on here you've got a bit more depth of the red the next I'm going to add well I'm going to go to the blue because on the one end is the blue and the other end is yellow. So if I move that there you can see you come into yellow. Well of course that's too much isn't it? And this side is blue. Again I'm going to put in the figures I'd decided on 15 
0.87 and we'll keep the default at 255. So it, it's got a little bit more warmth to it now. Play around with it, um, easy enough to do, check your preview, but I think you'll find that that looks a bit better. I might have put a little bit too much yellow in, so if I want to I can move it back. It's getting colder. That should Yes, maybe a bit more. Nine, six. And when you're happy with all that, press OK. The next thing we're going to do is replace the sky. And this is something very useful. It doesn't necessarily have to be a sky. It could be something else in a picture. But rather than fiddle around cutting all out here, which is a laborious job, you don't want to do it. A nice quick way is to add a new layer. So come down, create a new layer and add it to the image. So click on that and you get the add a new layer box up. I'm going to call it sky. It needs to be a transparent. I don't want any of those others. It's the width and the height is exactly the same as this picture and I'm going to click OK. With the sky layer highlighted and this is something you must remember to do work you have to have the layer that you want to work on highlighted and um, otherwise you'll be doing all sorts of things and you're wondering why it's not happening but that's experience you have to go through it um but you learn <laughs> i did okay we've got the sky layer selected and what I'm going to do now we're going to use the blend tool or the gradient tool and we need to set our colors so I'm going to go into the color of the background and the foreground and we need to set a foreground and a background color and the way you do that is to click anywhere on here and decide which one you want and play around with it Again, for t to save a bit of time, I've already worked out what my colours are and I've saved the HTML notation or the hexadecimal number and I'm going to put that in there for the foreground colour and that's B, F, D, E, F, 5. And you will see it here, it's current. And if you're happy with that, click OK. And it comes into the panel there, or into the box there. I'm going to click on the background one now and do the same thing. Again, tweak it by playing around. You can alter the numbers here. But I found once I knew the number, that's the easiest thing to do. So E9, F7, F7. Click Return to bring the colour in, and that's a paler click OK. So we've now set our foreground and our background colour. Next double click on the blend tool and holding, make sure the window is open and holding down control to get a straight line you just click at the top and bring it down wherever you want it. I'm going to do it there. Oh goodness you say, it's covered up my picture. Well yes it has but this is where the layers and the mode comes in and this is where the magic starts. Under layers you see mode and normal and if we click down, click on there on the drop down box we're going to go to darken only. Click on that and hey presto it's brought it through. Play around with those, it, it's great fun. I'm not going to do it here and that basically is all you need to do. So it's, it's such a quick way to do a sky. Well I hope you have fun tweaking your own photographs and if you have any comments or any questions come over to our fan page. The details are below. We'd love to hear from you. Until the next tutorial, bye bye.